Hello, my name is Taren Packer and I'm a simulation support specialist at Go Engineer. Today I'd like to talk to you about uh, what's new tool in SOLIDWORKS 2020 where you can actually see free body forces in a nonlinear analysis. Previously to 2020, when you're in linear static analysis, you can activate a results plot, right click on results, list result forces, and you can see what the free body force is for a face and also for a whole part file or multiple part files. When you leave the linear static environment though and go to a nonlinear environment and try the same thing, activate a results plot, right click results, list result force. Now the free body force is grayed out and cannot be active. Now let's switch over to SOLIDWORKS 2020 and look at the differences. In a nonlinear analysis, I can activate a plot Right click results, list result force. Wait a second, I thought I told you you could activate a free body force in 2020. Well, never fear, you actually can, you just have to turn it on. So, what you do is you right click results, go to properties, and you have to click this option on compute free body forces, which is a new option in SOLIDWORKS Nonlinear 2020 Property Manager. Press OK, and you have to run another analysis. But when you do so, you can right click on results, list result force. Now you have the same access to a free body force in a nonlinear analysis that you did in a linear static analysis previously to 2020. You can calculate free body forces on a specific face or on entire part files. This has been Taryn Packer. I hope you've learned something from this video.